Sunny Gavaskar now joins us on the show. Sunny, why you've seen Virat Kohli score many hundreds, a few hundred and fifties as well. But how good and important was that 49 today? Very important because India had lost uh, three wickets uh, in a jiffy. There was, uh, uh, you know, the uncertainty regarding Yuvraj's form. Uh, so I think it was very important. But once again, Yuvraj showed that experience matters because he was the one who was batting along with Virat. And while Virat deserves all the kudos for the way he handled the early early spell and then opened out, I think batting in the company of an experienced batsman also eases the pressure. And you can see that Yuvraj and Kohli are very, very comfortable with each other when they're batting, when, when they come at the end of the over and talk to each other. So I think, and, and encourage each other. Because you're two against 11, sometimes you're two against 30, 40,000 if the crowd uh, is uh, not your home crowd. So uh, I think that partnership was very, very vital and uh, uh, compliments to both of them and then, of course, uh, uh, for the way they, uh, they took uh, the team home. Uh, Saimai, since you mentioned Yuvraj Singh there, we all know that he's a confidence player. Whenever he's in high confidence, he ends up scoring big. He's not been high on confidence, obviously, because he's making a comeback. How much will this knock help him come back into the groove that we used to see him earlier? Uh, uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a big boost for the simple reason that he was playing a class attack on a pitch where the ball was doing something. And uh, it's never easy uh, when you're out of form, short on confidence, uh, uh, to be able to play in the manner that he did. But that first uh, you know, drive uh, for a boundary, uh, that showed his class. And sometimes, you know, uh, batsmen like Yuvraj who've been there for years, they just need that little feel of the ball in the middle of the bat. Once that happens, you know, your the confidence uh, starts to come from within. And that's uh, what happened. Uh, uh, he was he was very very cool uh, out there in the middle because the tension was incredibly high. All right, uh, Saibai, a word on Mohammad Amir. He looked like the pick of the bowlers for Pakistan. We just heard Virat Kohli praising him, saying that he he saw him bowl and he congratulated him while he was bowling. Uh, what does this tell you about Amir? You know, he's been out of international cricket for five years, makes a comeback very recently, and is back to his best so soon. Yes, I think the fact that he played some matches uh, in the PSL, the, the fact that he played, uh, he represented uh, uh, Pakistan in New Zealand certainly would have helped him uh, because uh, uh, it would not have been easy to, uh, for him to come in and bowl uh, uh, the way he did if he hadn't played uh, these matches earlier on. So that was very clever of the Pakistani uh, selection committee to send him in first in New Zealand, get him used to the feeling of the dressing room again, uh, get, the, get the players around him comfortable and he comfortable around the other players. And uh, that certainly helped. Uh, and, uh, you know, what, what he showed is that a lot of bowlers tend to loosen up, take an over or two to warm up, loosen up. But in a T20 format, you can't afford to do that because in that, in that loosening up, warming up over, you can give away 10, 20 runs, which can be the difference between winning and losing. Since we are on the subject of Mohammad Amir, we just heard from Virat Kohli. While he praised Mohammad Amir, he said he was bowling great, but also said he was enjoying batting against Mohammad Amir. I haven't heard of batsmen before this saying they're enjoying the ball swinging, the ball coming at pace. You know, most batsmen are not enjoying that time. But Virat says he was enjoying playing Amir the way it was. What does that tell you about Virat Kohli, the batsman? Well, that he, he enjoys competition. And let me tell you one thing that maybe a lot of other batsmen don't uh, say that uh, they enjoy uh, playing against a quality player, but they do enjoy playing. It's just that Virat is a lot more expressive uh, than the others. You, you go and ask Sachin Tendulkar, you go and ask Rahul Dravid, VVS Lakshman, Virinder Sehwag. When a quality bowler is bowling, bowling in conditions which are suiting him, then the batsman enjoys playing because he enjoys the challenge. That is the challenge. There's no challenge playing on a flat pitch when nothing's happening. When the ball is doing something, when the bowler is bowling at his best, that is when you enjoy batting because that is the real contest between bat and ball. Just that Virat expressed it. The others before him have probably not, or probably not had the chance to. Okay, uh, I'm just taking the point. Maybe you enjoyed batting against those great West Indian fast bowlers as well. That I'll keep for another time to discuss. But anyway, coming back to the match, uh, clearly the pitch was helping the bowlers. Bowlers from both sides bowled very well, used the conditions very well. In a scenario like this, where bowlers were dominating from both sides, do you think the difference was also the fielding? India looked much sharper in the field. We saw those two very crucial runouts. That was the difference between the two sides? Oh, absolutely. I think the, the, the fielding of the Indian team over the last one year has been simply outstanding. They've got some real fleet movers. Uh, 
But more importantly, they have got guys who get rid of the ball very quickly. And therefore, my advice to all the other batsmen of the opposition team is, when the ball goes to certain fielders in the Indian team, uh, do not think of taking that extra run because you'll only find yourself short of the crease. It might be millimetres, but that is what is going to send you back in the pavilion. So my honest advice to the batsman would be, do not take a chance if the ball goes to somebody like a Jadeja, if the ball goes to somebody like a Kohli or a Rohit Sharma, or, or even Yuvrat Singh, do not take that extra run. And finally, Sai, we've, we've seen all the four teams that are playing in the Asia Cup play one game each. On the evidence of that one particular match, do you see an India-Pakistan final? Do you see that's the most probable final? No, early days, early days. This is Pakistan's first game. Uh, mm. So, uh, I think Pakistan will want to come back. Uh, they've been stung by this defeat, no question about it. So, they'll want to come back. But don't rule out uh, Sri Lanka, don't rule out uh, uh, Bangladesh either. Uh, because uh, both, uh, both these teams, along with Pakistan, they will certainly want to, want to, to come back uh, strongly. All right. If one were to ask uh, fans from both sides of the borders, I'm sure they'd be loving uh, an India-Pakistan final. But like Sainibai says, don't count out Bangladesh or Sri Lanka just yet. Thanks so much for joining us.